Hello everyone and welcome to the video. In this video we will be discussing about the history and principle of MRI. So let us move on to the history of MRI first. So let's see what were the major discoveries that led to the invention of MRI. So in the year 1946 Felix Bloch and Edward Prusel they discovered the phenomenon of NMR. NMR means nuclear magnetic resonance. So what is NMR? NMR means the nuclei of an atom shows small magnetic property and under the presence of a strong external magnetic field. That means a charged nuclei will show a slightly uh, will show a small magnetic property when it is subjected to a strong external magnetic field. And for their work they received Nobel Prize in the year 1952. Then in the year 1950, the unit called Tesla was invented by the International Electrotechnical Commission Committee of Action, Germany, Munich. So we know that the strength of an MRA machine or the magnetic intensity of an MRA machine is measured by the unit called Tesla. Now come to Raymond Damadian. So Raymond Damadian is known as the father of MRA. So he discovered that Tumors and normal tissue can be distinguished in vitro by NMR. And he was the one who produced the first MR body scanner in the year 1969. So Raymond Damadian was an American physician and he is, a, uh, he is known as a father of MRI. Also in the year 1977, Raymond Damadian produced MR image of the whole body. Then... In the year 1973, a scientist called Paul Lutherberg produced the first NMR image. And for this work, in the year 2003, Paul Lutherberg and Peter Mansfield, they were awarded Nobel Prize for their contribution to MRI. So if we see the discovery of MRI, we can find that there are five scientists whose work led to the invention of MRI. The first one is Felix Bloch, Edward Prusel, then we have Raymond Damadian and then Paul Lutherberg and Peter Mansfield. So all the scientists or the discoveries made by these scientists led to the invention of the modern day MRI that we see today. So here in the image you can see Peter Mansfield and Paul Lutherberg. Also we can see another two scientists, Edward Prusel and Felix Bloch. Now let's discuss the principle of MRI. So MR imaging, it is based on the behavior of protons under the influence of an external magnetic field. Now if you consider human body, we know that 70% of the human body is composed of water molecules. That means 70% of human body is composed of water. Now if you decompose... Uh, water we will get hydrogen ion and hydroxyl ion now during MRI imaging we are going to use hydrogen ion or hydrogen proton now let's consider the hydrogen atom we know that hydrogen has one proton and one electron the hydrogen atom it has got one proton in the nucleus and it has got a single electron now this hydrogen will lose its electron to in order to form the hydrogen Ion. Now if you consider the hydrogen ion, it doesn't have any electron but it has a single proton and because of that we call it as a hydrogen proton. Now this hydrogen proton is found in human body in abundance and because of that we are using hydrogen proton in order to produce signals in MRI imaging and then convert this signal into images of the internal structure of our body. Now what happens to the hydrogen ion uh, when the human body is subjected to MRI machine? So this is the condition or this is the situation of um, or the behavior of hydrogen proton in the absence of external magnetic field. That means inside the human body you can find hydrogen protons and you will see that they are randomly arranged or they are randomly oriented. That means the hydrogen protons do not have a particular direction. Um, they constantly move uh, and all the hydrogen 
at uh, protons they move differently or they are randomly arranged now before i go into this let me also point out uh, one more point that the hydrogen proton we know that the hydrogen proton it has uh, got a single proton it doesn't have any electron and hence the charge of this hydrogen proton is positive so it carries a positive charge every uh, charged particle or every charge carrying nuclei will have an electric field associated with it and also it will have a magnetic field associated with it so this magnetic property uh, we are going to use for the imaging of uh, imaging in mri okay that means the charged nuclei will always have a magnetic field associated with it and this magnetic field or uh, this magnetic property will be uh, will produce signals when it is uh, subjected to the external magnetic field produced by the mri machine so let me repeat once more every charged nuclei has an electric field as well as a magnetic field associated with it and this hydrogen nuclei has got a property known as spin and precision that means the hydrogen nuclei spins around its axis and also it shows a property of precision uh, when placed under an external magnetic field so i will explain what is spin and what is precision in detail before that let me just explain that what happens to the hydrogen proton when it is placed or when it is subjected to an external magnetic field now this is the orientation of hydrogen protons in the human body they are randomly oriented now when the human body is placed under uh, an external magnetic field or when the human body is placed inside the mri machine what happens here we can see that most of the hydrogen protons will align parallel to the external magnetic field of the mri machine and few of them will get arranged anti parallel that means most of the hydrogen protons will align parallel to the magnetic field of the mri machine now this blue line indicates the magnetic field of the mri machine denoted by m z so this is the magnetization along z axis okay so most of the hydrogen protons will align parallel few of them will align anti parallel now this few anti parallel will get cancel out with the parallel and then we will get the net magnetization vector parallel to the magnetization of the mri machine so here we will get the net magnetization vector now since the magnetization of the mri machine is along z axis we will also get the net magnetization vector along z axis and it is denoted by m z so this is the total magnetization produced by the hydrogen protons so let me explain what is spin and what is precision so consider this this is the hydrogen proton this is the axis of magnetization or it shows a vector or the direction of magnetization of this hydrogen proton and i said that it will be aligned along z axis now let's consider this is the hydrogen proton now i said that it has a property of spin that means it will rotate in this way around about its axis this is known as spin okay the hydrogen proton rotating about its axis is known as the spin so here you can see the hydrogen proton it rotates about its axis and this property is known as so we have learned about spin now let's see what is precision before learning what is precision let's learn about the three plane coordinate system so this is the three plane coordinate system here you can see the green color it represents the z axis here the blue color represents the y axis the yellow color represents the x axis now this three axis they are orthogonal that means they are perpendicular to each other they are mutually perpendicular to each other so z axis is perpendicular to y axis also perpendicular to x axis again the x and y axis is they are perpendicular to each other now x and y axis they form in a single plane so this is known as the xy plane and this is the 
z axis now this z axis axis it is a direction in which the magnetization of the mri or the mri magnet vector is along the z axis along this axis fine now let's see what is precision so this is your hydrogen proton now the hydrogen proton uh, or the magnetization of the hydrogen proton aligns along the z axis so this is how the hydrogen proton inside the human body aligns parallel to the magnetization of the mri magnet so here this axis the z axis it represents a magnetization of the mri magnet and this is the hydrogen proton and the magnetization of the hydrogen proton aligns parallel to the magnetization of the or the net magnetization of the mri magnet now let's see what is precision precision means so i already told you what is spin spinning means the hydrogen proton spins about its axis now precision means the hydrogen proton as it spins along its axis it also rotates around the magnetization vector in this way so the hydrogen proton rotates about the magnetization vector or the uh, z axis in this way this phenomenon is known as precision okay so the hydrogen proton it spins about its axis this is known as spinning as it spins about its axis it also rotates about the z axis in this manner and this is known as precision okay now this is the position of your hydrogen proton before the application of an rf pulse that means all the hydrogen protons align parallel to z axis now what happens if you apply a rf pulse let's uh, suppose if you are going to apply a 90 degree rf pulse now when you apply 90 degree rf pulse what happens the protons that are aligned parallel to the z axis they will process and by processing slowly slowly they will move towards the y axis or the x y plane okay so when before the application of rf pulse it aligns parallel to the z axis in this position we will not get signals from the hydrogen proton so in order to produce signals we will apply additional radio frequency pulses now when you apply radio frequency pulses the hydrogen protons will slowly process and they will come towards the y axis or the x y plane now when the hydrogen protons are aligned parallel to z axis this is known as tra uh, sorry longitudinal magnetization that means when the magnetization is along z axis we call it as longitudinal magnetization now when you apply an rf pulse the magnetization vector slowly shifts to y axis and this is known as transverse magnetization so magnetization along z axis is known as longitudinal magnetization magnetization along y axis is known as transverse magnetization so that was all about the principle of mri so we shall learn detail about the physics of mri in the upcoming videos if you find this video useful please like share and subscribe thank you for watching